Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography and in this video I'm going to be showing you what filters work best for the Canon R series. So let's get into it. Now I'm making this video because I've seen quite a few videos on using the drop-in filters for R-series adapters. So that's basically if you've got a Canon EOS R, you can buy the adapter, put your EF glass on there and drop in extra little filters like variable NDs, polarizers, whatever it may be. But you can't use those on RF lenses. And I've seen a few questions floating around social medias and stuff like that. And if you do want to look into a couple of new Facebook groups, check the links in the description down below. Our example lens for this video is going to be the RF 15 to 35 IS f2.8 L series lens. Like this is a monster of a lens. It's incredibly sharp, incredibly um, well built. Uh, this isn't a review, this is just to use this as an example. Now, the filter thread size, and this is the main thing that you're looking for when you're looking at filters. The filter thread size on this is 82 millimeters. And the reason that's important is because that's the screw thread size that we need to attach, and that determines the type of filter system that we use. Now, for 82 millimeter filter threads, that is usually a 100 millimeter system. Now, I personally recommend and use, and since after using the Nissi system, I have become a reseller, but the Nissi system is my go-to. They are incredibly high quality filters and very well built, very good quality, no color casting, that sort of stuff. But right here, I have the adapter ring, and this is the one that's got the polarizer built into it, so that's the little lens cap on there. This is the one that's got the polarizer built into it. Now, this adapter ring is actually the adapter ring for the V6 100 millimeter system. And this is an 82 millimeter adapter ring in itself. If you need to adapt smaller filter thread lenses, so 100 millimeter systems usually vary from 49 millimeters up to 82. You can get some adapters for uh, larger thread size lenses, so I believe 86 and 95 are the next sort of two sizes up. So you, you can get adapters to fit a 100 millimeter system on, but you may also be looking to a 150 millimeter system if you've got something bigger. But for R series lenses, as they stand right now, and I'll use the Holy Trinity as an example, the 15 to 35 has an 82 millimeter filter thread, the 24 to 70 f2.8 has a 82 millimeter filter thread and the 70 to 200 f2.8 RF lens, so this makes up the holy trinity, is a 77 mil thread. So all of those lenses are perfect for the 100 millimeter system. And to attach, it's quite simple. It's basically just taking your adapter ring or if you have a smaller than an 82 mil, a step up ring, which screws onto the front of the lens, then you attach this and then it just attaches straight on. So that's it, the polarizer is attached, you can spin it with the little toggle parts and that's, that's essentially how it works, it's quite simple. If you do wanna find out sort of how to set up Nissi filters specifically, then I do have a video on that that I'll link in the card just up here. But moving on. So the 100 millimeter system is going to be probably the best option for what you want to create. There's also a lot of other options to consider. You can get circular filters, you can get a sort of screw on, all that sort of stuff. But I do have a circular screw on natural night filter, which is 82 millimeters. So that would fit onto this filter thread as well. But the difference between circular and square is somewhat uh, interesting because square filters, you can attach multiple filters without causing a lot of vignetting or any vignetting in this case. At 15 mil, this lens uh, doesn't create vignetting with the filter holder attached and a few filters in there. So I can have a polarizer, then I can take the filter holder here, for example, 
open the bag up and grab out a grad filter. So this is just a, a standard soft grad. I can slide that into say a front slot here. Now I am using the Nissi switch filter here. The normal V6 has three slots. This has two. So I'll just slide that into position. So I can have the polarizer, a grad filter, and if I wanted to add an ND as well, so this is a three stop, I can slide that straight into there and now just drop that on to attach and lock it in. So I can have three, four filters if need be attached to the front of my lens with a square filter system. This is slightly bigger to carry around with you, but it has got more options, especially for grad filters. Uh, for circular filters, I really don't recommend getting a grad circular filter. They're just not as functional as what you actually need them to be. For ND filters, that's certainly an option. You can get screw-on ND filters or uh, variable NDs if you want to film a little bit of video as well. So if you're just wanting to use one filter and you just want to carry around sort of one or two with you, then circulars might be an option for polarizers, natural nights, variable NDs, or flat solid NDs. But if you start stacking circular ones like we have with the square ones, then they start to protrude further and further and further from the edge of, or the front element of the lens, which can then cause vignetting faster than what these square ones will. So that's something to take into consideration. If you feel like you want to stack multiple filters and have a bigger variety, then go for a square filter system. If you want to just use one filter or you've got a specific purpose for one filter, such as variable ND, then go with some circular options. You can combine both of these, um, although not really at the same time. Because you've got the polarizer built in to the front element of the Nissi system. I know that there are a couple of other filter systems as well, but Nissi is just the one that I use and recommend. Avoiding combining them is probably a better option to avoid vignetting or potential issues. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't, thumbs down, up to you. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Have you got filters for your RF series lenses? If you have, what are you using? Um, have you tried Nissi? What brands? That sort of stuff. I'd really love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe with the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos and I will see you in the next one.